Sixo seems like he's a better ladder player and not so hot at tourneys, says TACDX504. TACDX504, man, are the only tournaments you watch the HTC tournaments? Because Zixo has won all of the tournaments that are not the HTC tournaments recently. So, I mean, that's, that's a big problem. A lot of people don't watch some of these smaller tournaments that only get, you know, a couple thousand viewers. Zixo's been beasting it lately, bro. Yeah, I mean, people only watch the popular tournaments, right? You can't blame them for that, but... You, wa you only watch the popular tournaments, and then you're gonna call out players saying they're bad? I don't know, man. So, bear trap is scary. I'm gonna risk it. Snake snipe. Snake dart. Camo Ammo 77 says, I think Firebat's the best player currently. Well, that makes one of us. This power shot's sick, actually. <laughs> Get some power shot value, you know? Oh, King Crush. I think it's very hard to be the best player currently right now. I think, um... Too much depends on variance at the moment. You know, when, the more that gets attributed to RNG, the lower the skill ceiling gets. The lower the skill ceiling gets, the more worse players are able to keep up with the good players. And that gap gets narrowed even further. So, the people that are doing it and consistently winning... Those guys are good and dedicated. The people that are winning stuff right now. We're going for Unleash the Hounds. Freezing Trap will do. I don't think it's time to deploy it yet, but I like it. From your argument, I get the impression you're not a fan of Yoggin tournaments. I'm not a fan of Yoggin tournaments. Definitely not. I made a whole video about it. How I think Yogg probably shouldn't be in tournaments, but more so the main argument of that post was how I think uh, a lot of the RNG sh cards should kind of be, you know, fizzled out a little bit and there should be more of a focus on maintaining what that skill cap was and how little RNG actually needs to be removed to get back into the state where Hearthstone actually had consistent finishers, where there were players with the 70% plus win rates. Because that time actually existed. This is a bummer. Can't even play King Crush this turn. I mean... Oh, okay. Ugh, that's brutal, man. Alright, we'll get a Phrasing Trap out there. It's questionable for sure. I just don't want to take this much damage. There's so much heat coming on the board, man. Remember in Fight Night when they banned Pagel and Tinkmaster? They didn't technically ban Pagel and Tinkmaster. They had a gentleman's agreement not to use Pagel or Tinkmaster because they considered them busted at the time. But when they asked Blizzard, can we, you know, not use, or can we ban Pagel and Tinkmaster? And they're like, no, you can't. We don't want you to do that. So the players then go, go went upon themselves to have a gentleman's agreement and just not use the card. Same thing happened in um, that tournament Chan Man hosted. What was the name of that tournament? The one where they had the Buzzard and the Leroy nerf. And uh, they just gentleman's agreement did not to use that. I was in that tournament. I can't remember the name of it. So no one's really, you know, actually gone out and banned things. Which is why I want to host my own tournament eventually. I'm kind of like getting in the works with it, talking to some people. Host my own little tournament. You know, maybe not any, not anything like big scale or anything like that, because I don't have any funding or whatever. But, uh, you know, some little like show match event just with fun formats. And I want to do one of them being like a ban list. Where I just, you know, select a bunch of cards that I think are kind of bullshit. Like Tuskar Totemic and Yogg. 
kind of take them out of the game, put them on a ban list, and then have players go at it. A lot of people hate ban list things. I mean, and by a lot of people, I mean Blizzard. So probably not going to be anything like super major or anything, but I think it would be really cool just to see what would happen. So I want to experiment around with formats and stuff like that. So I've been teaching my girlfriend how to do like the production stuff so I can do the casting when she's doing all the production stuff. So, you know, maybe eventually get that going. That should be fun. I'm excited to try and do it. I'm also excited to play this game, Crush. All right, let's do... I don't even want to play King Crush, right? I could just Edwin. Ah, King Crush is funnier, right? We turn the clock on him. And then, you know, just keep making random formats with fun rules. Hopefully try and get something kind of cool going. Why'd I play a King Crush when I knew he had a Yogg? That's not good. I mean, knew he had a rag. I got no hope this game, man. Rag's destroying me. We lost when we played King Crush. We sure were supposed to play Malaga as we played King Crush. I got too distracted by the dinosaur, man. King Crush is not supposed to be in the card there. We should have played Malagos for sure. Rag can't kill it. We're able to then kill the Rag with spells. And then we play King Crush, but we got too anxious and ahead of ourselves. Yeah, we knew this game was going to be rough. So if we gain 10 life and then we take another 10